Oh, wow, honey, that looks good on that plate. What you cooking up today? Chuckeye steaks about an inch or so thick. Get in there and look at them. And, uh, they... Ooh, they look nice, honey. And then I got some potatoes that I'm gonna char up here. I've already kind of. They're kind of half cooked already. Um, just kind of like you half baked. Oh, <laughs> I'm just kidding, honey. <laughs> anyway, that looks like some mighty fine eating. Yeah, I'll let this uh, char a little bit, and then I'm gonna mm -hmm. put those steaks on. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> so, Matt, what do you think about those steaks? I think they look pretty good. They're gonna look pretty good when they're disappearing off my plate. Well, you know, there's three of us, and I saw four steaks. How do you think we're going to settle that issue? I don't know. Hmm. I have to wait and find out, I guess. <laughs> I think I know how it's going to be settled. Uh-oh. How? Well, I'll eat mine and half of yours. <laughs> yeah. And then uh, Matt eat his, and then uh, we'll all kind of tear it apart later and eat the other one unless I go back after it before then. That's probably right. <laughs> hey, depends on how much cheese you're putting in uh, broccoli in florets. Yeah, a lot. Well, then I might just stick with just eating mine in half a year. Or so. Okay. <laughs> I guess it, we'll wait and see. Yeah. Wait and see. Yeah, I'm ready to eat them though. I can't even see you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm staring in the sun. I can't see. Just kind of doing the taters around. Don't want They smell sweet. Yeah. <clears throat> well, I put olive oil on them and uh, some seasoned salt and ground pepper. But uh, I think it's just the good juice that's coming out. That Step over here in the sun. And, uh, you know, maybe Dutch Eats will want to call you out for uh, um, whatever they do. Oh, I don't know. Not, a, not a competition, but... Uh, Compilation? Collaboration. Collaboration, yeah. Oh, I thought he was going to challenge me. No, say, not oh, that. No, no, no. No. <laughs> you can't mess with the real girl man. No, no, no. No, it'd be good. Yeah. yeah we might Maybe have to day. look into that. Yeah. How do you like your steak? Usually I like a medium where it's still kind of bloody on the inside, but not like bloody, like a rare bloody, but. I don't know, to me that's it's perfect. Like when you let your steak sit on a plate you gotta let and, it rest. and let it rest, some of the juices that come out of it will, will first start off as, you know, kind of a little blood looking, but it's not. And then as it continues to, to cook, and the, the moisture comes out of the top of the steak. <laughs> I like mine crunchy on the outside, not really crunchy, but well charred on the outside. And, um, no blood coming out. I don't like it well done, but I don't like blood, so medium in between. Or medium or whatever. Medium well. <laughs> medium well. Wait. Mm -hmm. Man. Ooh wee. Bet you guys wish you had some smell o vision. Ooh, that looks good. Mm -mm. I don't think you're going to get half of mine this time. I'm just saying. Okay. No. Well, we'll see about that. Okay. Well, then Matt and I will just do one and a half on the other. and You can have your own. <laughs> How long do you cook them per side? Just depends. Like I said, if it was a, a real good hot grill and it was done right like these, that side is probably going to be about four minutes or so on each side, something like that. If if it was a good hot hot grill with a good flame, you're only talking maybe three. You know, that it cooks so fast, seals it in. Matt, 
Matt, what's your favorite, um, like, steak restaurant? Roadhouse. Texas, Texas Roadhouse. Roadhouse. Yeah, Roadhouse. me too. Yeah. Keep going some Nico's or whatever it is. Yeah, that, good. Nico's and Corpus is Saltgrass good. Saltgrass is pretty good. I, yes, I, that was good, too. It was okay. I, you know. I I'm mean, just. Logan's, Longhorn. I don't, no. <laughs> they're all good. I, we didn't like that. And Montana Mike's I didn't care for for some reason. It just didn't. must have been bad cut. I've never been out that steakhouse ever in my life. <laughs> uh, we've been it's once good. or twice. It's not too bad. No, it's good. So, so Matt, um, earlier we talked about some Christmas memories. Well, yesterday's video, I guess. Um, can you share with us today a memory of Christmas? Um, off the top of my head? I guess maybe I was probably kindergarten, first grade, somewhere around there. But Santa showed up in a helicopter to our school, in a ranch helicopter. So that's obviously only going to happen in a small town. But it's pretty cool seeing a helicopter come and landed in the schoolyard, and all the the classes are lined up outside watching, <laughs> and then he gets out and starts handing out candy canes and stuff. <laughs> um. We probably didn't have our camcorder then. I might not have it, video of that. I think that. there is video of that. I think it was on that little camcorder that y'all had. So maybe, I don't know, but I know we have it. Because after the helicopter, Santa, I'll be right back. Santa started arriving in, a, in the fire engine. So he's now. I'm going to spin him a little bit. I cannot see, Captain. Okay. It gives it a good mark. Ooh, that's what I call flame roll. Oops, too much. I didn't want to do that. I wanted it to do like that. You know what, honey? What's that? Good Grub Almighty might be calling you out for a cookout. Okay, back to the Christmas story, man. Right. I believe after that, Santa started arriving on the fire engine. Do you remember any of that or no? No, not that. Okay. Oops. Ready? Wait, hold on. Go ahead. No, I forgot what I was going to say. I had it in my mind. Christmas. One of my favorite memories is uh, way back when our kids were so tiny that we would wake them up on Christmas morning to open their gifts. We would go wake them up and say, wake up, wake up, Santa came. And then as the years went by, you kind of wished, you know, you were thinking, why did I ever wake them up? I should have just let them sleep because from then on, every year you would wake us up. <laughs> Do this. I'm gonna put Okay, so he is ready to flip the meat. Yep. Ooh -wee! I think Jared says that. I need to get my own squill. Ooh, that looks good. Yummy. That's what I'm talking about. Ooh, wee. Man, oh man. Making me hungry. Did you get the pan? I'm not holding this right. now. Right. So that appears to me like that was probably the last turn. Is that correct? Yeah. I'm just gonna let it cook. Get it the right temp that we want. That'll be it. As you step back into the shade a little bit, why don't you share with us one of your favorite Christmas memories? Uh. I guess one of them was our little Charlie Brown tree. <laughs> That's what I'll call it. We had gone across, uh, well actually there's probably some bush out here by the house that looks like it too, but it's it's kind of like a sage brush and it kind of shaped up like that and everything and we saw it and it had a bird's nest built in it and we thought, wow, that looks pretty cool. So we cut it down, we brought it over here and hooked it up, put decorations on everything and it kind of looked like a bad Charlie Brown deal. And uh, so, what was it? We went to town or something right there at the very end? Yeah, like Christmas Eve or the day before. Yeah, and while we were up there, uh, they had a big old, they were just trying to get rid of their trees and 
we went up there and it was a huge Norfolk pine. Beautiful, beautiful tree. And what we got for 10 bucks or something, something like that? Something like that. It was unreal. They were just getting rid of it. I it mean, was one of the most beautiful trees we've ever had when we decorated it. I would say so too. So we had to leave it up a little longer than what we would have had. So <laughs> Absolutely. But it was a very nice tree. That's one of the, the things I remember. So. If it's kind of crunchy on the outside. Yeah. That one or the one that's still on? The one that's still on. Oh, good. Everybody's smiling now. Do you know how to turn the valve off? Just gotta let them rest for a bit and then it'll be time to eat. All right. <laughs> what do you think, Matt? Mm. I think this looks really good and I can't wait to eat it. Mm. It does look good. Man, check out that. Your presentation was better than mine. Oh, yeah, check that <laughs> out. Come up behind you, Dad. All right. Mmm, them grill marks looking good. I think my presentation looks good. My potatoes mm. just chopped up. Yeah. Um. All right, time to eat. Well, I am hungry and ready to eat. We have steak, baked potato with sour cream cheese and jalapeno, and broccoli with cheese. Well, now let's taste it. This might be my new favorite steakhouse. <laughs> Man, that's a good answer, Matt. Lamar. Now, I asked for mine crispy on the outside and almost well done on the inside, and that appears to be exactly what I got. I'm not sure this one, do Mm-hmm. That is good. I mean, it's good. It's got a very light pink to it, but I like mine a little, with a little more moo in it. Mm. I like the potatoes with all that stuff. Mm -hmm. I like the jalapeno. Jalapeno, cheese, and the broccoli you mix in with it too. It's good. Make, make what the uh, little restaurant up here in Kingsville calls a a patootie. Mm -hmm. Oh, rotten patootie or something like that. All rotten. They put the meat. Patootie. Uh, I see the Popeyes from there. And I like the root. Uh, the the Reuben is what I always got. We're talking about Young's Pizza in Kingsville, Texas. I'm gonna go buy one of these. You know. So Matt, you attended the college there in Kingsville. For a while, did you, yeah, on a scale of 1 to 10, 10 being the best thing ever, how would you rate that college? Mm, it wasn't that bad. It was like six and a half, seven. That's good. Yeah, uh, and I'm sure it's better now because they were always building stuff, so. Well, um, it's a four year college. Uh, I think a lot of kids just want to move further away. It's an engineering school. Yeah, it's not a big, big school or anything by any means. It's a smaller school, but it, they they specialize in engineering. For what it is, it's a good school. For what it is, yeah, it is. <laughs> now then, they have the the pharmacy there. Mm -hmm. It's a big Irma Wrong Health Pharmacy that they opened up there. Now then, lots of Kids around here have good job opportunities after going to text and things like that. Oh. I gave you too much jerky already. Doesn't matter how much you dance. Mm -hmm. You know, one Christmas I remember, I was sick. It was back in the day when I would get laryngitis and all that, my throat was just, couldn't even swallow water. 
I can remember laying on the couch, and that was the year you guys got your little football uniforms. <laughs> and Dad went outside and played football, y'all, with y'all's uniforms on, and he videoed you too, so that I would be able to see it because I couldn't go out. And he also cooked the Thanksgiving turkey that year. What? That was your first. What? So was this the second? I think so. <laughs> yeah. No, he fried one one time. Yeah. No, I don't know this is off topic, but the other day I was thinking, what well, was funny? Who was it? You and or was it Jason? And them had that cat that was huh? out here on the stream. With that was Jason and Jared for sure. It was you? No. Yeah, it was Jason and Jared. I think they did with a snake too. Found that dead cat. Uh huh. Tied that fishing line to it, and when cars would come, they'd pull it out in the middle of the road at them. <laughs> I swear, those kids. Of course, we didn't know they were doing that until later. So, parents, beware. If you think you know everything your child is doing and you would recognize any sign of anything, you are wrong. Especially you mothers. Is that right, Matt? <laughs> so, Granny, who is George's mom, would tell stories about them growing up and how they were doing all kinds of things she didn't know about. And I often wondered how she could not know what they were doing until my kids grew up and told me they had done all those crazy things. And that's just around here. Imagine if they had all the land like at the ranch. Like growing. they did, mm -hmm. yeah. Uh, my jaw's just sore from eating all that jerky. <laughs> <laughs> that's funny. And I bet Gooby's is too. Yeah, we're mm -hmm. not stopping him from begging. He is. Chew, chew, swallow. On the longer strips I would give him, he would sit there and chew it, but the other ones, it's just... Now it just makes it look even bigger. Is that Watson? Mm. It's all of them. Watson and probably the girl dog. When you're saying, people asking, I'm going to get that recipe, you're talking about me. <laughs> <laughs> How do you do that? What do you put in jerky? <laughs> yeah. I know. Lisa had asked. Uh, I saw that. I'd let you know, Lisa, but I'd have to kill the whole world. I don't think I can kill the whole world. You said tell at first, then you said kill. <laughs> well, that jerky ain't that important. <laughs> Boom! Throw down, I did it, boom. Come on. Now bring on the pie. <laughs> mm -hmm. <coughs> One, we don't have any. Two, you know I love pie. And three, I couldn't eat it if we had a coconut cream pie sitting here. Or a pecan pie. Maybe I could eat a piece what of What about an pie? apple pie or a cherry pie? I know some people that probably won't ever eat that again. Um, you know what I could eat though? One little bowl, one dollop of either peach or a hot apple cobbler and one little dollop of vanilla ice cream on there. Oh my goodness. Uh, if you people like watching us cook food and eat it, Please feel free to subscribe to our station if you would like to see any of Matt's videos. He is the real Matt Crocker, and we will leave his link down below. And uh, give us a thumbs up or a thumbs down if you must. And have a great day. I'll check you later. <laughs> Adios. Bye.